What is up everyone? It's Derek with Night Order Project, nightorderproject.com here. We're going to do a little something different this time around. We're going to be uh, discussing this Lionel ready to play train set. And what we're going to be trying to do here is I've, um, over the past handful of months, I've been looking for ways to correct the sound in this locomotive. The problem is after a while, the um, the sound stops working, okay, for 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 this specific locomotive, and it's happening to other Lionel ready to play sets as well. So I am going to show you a quick and easy fix on how to get the sound working on these things again, and hopefully this will be very beneficial to um, many other people that are looking to do the same the same thing. All right, so we're gonna fix this locomotive now. We're gonna fix the sound. So the supplies that we need are the locomotive, of course, a Phillips head screwdriver, some sort of tape. I chose electrical tape and a scissors. So as we turn the locomotive over, you will see that there are quite a bit of screws in here, okay? And we only want to touch certain components of this in order to get to what we need to, which is um, the speaker. So in order to do that, we're going to need to remove some screws. But I, before I talk about that, you, there's no screws in this bottom component where the wheels are because that is the mechanism to make the locomotive go. We do not want to touch that. Okay. So I think there's about eight screws in there. Are eight screws in here. Two in the front. Two around the first wheel, two in the middle of the train, and then two at the back. So near the cow catcher, all right, there are two screws here, one on each side. You want to remove both of those, okay? Underneath the first wheel, there is a screw right here. It's hard to see. Right there, and there's one uh, on, the, on the other side of this as well, right in there, okay? The middle of the train, there's gonna be a screw here and a screw on the other side as well. And then on the very back of the train, you have two here that you're gonna have to remove. So I'm not gonna record myself removing these screws, but once you do remove those, um, We'll move on to the next step. Also, one additional thing that you would want to remove before we open this up is the uh, the case where the batteries are stored. So, as you probably know, there's a screw at the bottom of the cab um, right here, and that um, that lets you get in here to open up the uh, compartment for the uh, six um, C batteries. So, do that and then we will reconvene and open this locomotive up. Okay, once you've taken the batteries out, which is, this is the batteries compartment which went in here, okay. Now it's time to open the locomotive. So first thing first, before we just pull this whole bottom part out, is over here, if you pull, um, if you pull out on your, your um, cow catcher, just lift up on these wheels and pull this directly to the left like this, the cow catcher will come off and you can put that aside for now. Now we can focus on the actual locomotive. So if you just pull up a little bit, you will notice that the front half of the locomotive still is intact but the bottom half lip lifts up very easily here, okay? So the reason for this is because you still have these parts here that are connected in here, all right? Right here. So what I recommend doing is, if you don't know how to put this part back together, take a picture of this first so that it'll help you once we put this thing back together, okay? So in order to get this out, you need to lift up and slide out here, all right, so that those parts come out. And what we're gonna do 
is we're going to place the top of the locomotive in the backhand side and we're going to pull this bottom half uh, forward and turn it over, okay? Just like this. Now you see, um, I'll remove this so it's easier to access. And now you see a lot of cables in here, okay? There are a lot of cables in here um, that turn the on and off switch on here, pretty much. Um, as well as make the sound uh, work. So this is the part we're gonna be focusing. In here is the actual speaker. So in order to remove this top half, there is a screw here on the front, and there is a screw right in here, okay? So we're gonna remove that piece. Make sure you don't lose these screws, they're very small. And what I recommend also doing is getting a small bag so that you don't lose them. All right. All right. So now we've removed them and now you just gotta fiddle it around a little bit so that you can actually get to what you need here. So this top half, you can uh, remove that as that and just set that aside as well. So here's what we're looking at here, all right? This is the speaker. This is the problem area of this locomotive that no longer works. And we're going to show you how to get to work again. Okay, so now we're going to get this speaker to uh, to work again. So as of now, in order, to, if you want to test this out, what's happening is that I'm going to put this. This is where the battery unit goes in, and I'm going to manually uh, test this. So I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to just push down here to activate this, and, and you hear. Pretty much nothing, all right? Um, so as I hold this, I'm actually going to push this in. And now you hear this being activated, okay? That is the activation of, of this uh, speaker. But when I let go of this button in the middle, it, it turns off, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna flip this power switch off again, pull these batteries out. And my fix here, it's not gonna make the sound as loud as it was before, but at least it'll work, all right? So here's where you need your tape. So as you see in here, there is a, there is a hole where the speaker lies in here, okay? That's where the sound pretty much goes out of the locomotive and you can hear it. So I thought, how do we get this button to be held in all the time so that, so that it works? Especially when there's a space in here. So I thought, why don't we just use electrical tape, all right? and just crinkle it up into small balls, shove them in there, and then it'll hit this and turn this on and keep this on all the time. Even though this is on all the time, when you turn that power switch off, it will not sound the uh, locomotive anymore. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to get some electrical tape out. You can either cut it off with that or you can use your um, scissors and just roll it up into some small balls and just shove them down in there.
One more piece should do it. All right. So now you have three or four little balls of electrical tape in there. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this back on top, like so. And we're gonna test this before you put the whole locomotive together. It'd be a, it'd be a pain if in fact, um, you know, you, you get, you put all this work into it, put it all back together, and it doesn't work. You notice also there's a little crack here in this uh, cover for um, this yellow cord here and you want to make sure that you put it through there because if you don't you might break uh, that wire all right so I'm gonna put two screws in here Tighten that pretty well. And then put your other screw in here on the back side. Tighten that up. And like I said, we want to test this before we actually um, put the whole thing back together. So now the cover's back on. Got your screw here and you got your screw there. All right, let's test this. So get your battery pack back out. Turn this back on. And all you should have to do is touch these two plus and minuses with these two areas and it should work. And it does. So once you activate the controller, which is what we'll do next, um, you should be good to go to putting this engine back together. So let me go and get a controller. Okay, so we got ourselves a controller here. So the one last test, gonna turn your switch on up top. Okay. Gonna push in your battery pack. And you're gonna turn your controller on. And you can test all these. That's the bell. That's the whistle. And you're good to go. So I'm gonna turn this off. Turn the top off. And you're good to go. So now, like I said before, earlier in this video, um, rely on that picture you took so that you know how to put these rods back together in here, okay? Um, what I recommend doing specifically for this is putting um, this part in first, and then if you look at this, there's a clip on here um, right here, that that slides through through this portion of it, okay? And then once you have those in, then put the top back on. But you, whatever works for you, you'll be able to figure it out. So put that together, and then we should be good to go. Don't forget your screws. Um, again, there are screws up front at the cow catcher. There's some up front at the first wheel, the middle two wheels, and then the, uh, the cab of the locomotive as well. All right, now that you put the locomotive back together, all right, we did the two screws here, two screws there, 
two screws under the first wheel and then the two screws um, up at the cow catcher. I'm going to flip it over and now we want to put our battery unit back in there. I'm going to turn this on or I'm sorry, I'm going to turn I'm going to keep this off. Push that in until it clicks. And put the battery batteries back in and tighten this back up for the battery compartment. Now, turn this on and it should work. Still. <laughs> and it does. Okay. And the wheel drive should work as well. And they do. All right. So that's how you successfully um, get the sound to work again on a Lionel ready to play train, specifically this one, which is the Polar, uh, Polar Express from the Polar Express movie starring Tom Hanks. Um, there are others, there are other ready to play sets such as a John Deere train, a Frozen, uh, movie train, um, a Disney Mickey Mouse train, a Christmas train, and, and many others. But they're all very similar. So what you want to look for just on a high level, again, are screws for each of those that hold um, the specific area for where the sound is. And you can find the, um, the overview of these locomotives, I think, on the Lionel website if you don't have it in your instructions manual. It'll tell you where the speaker is, and again, that's where you want to remove the screws and open that area up. Remember, you do not want to touch the moving compartments because that is separate in all of these as well. So hopefully that will give you many, many hours, uh, additional hours of play with that. If you have a small kid, they might not understand like, hey, why doesn't the sound work anymore in my locomotive and so forth. So that's a quick, easy fix again to fix that. Again, like I said before, the um, it will not be as loud because I'm kind of muffling it because of the, uh, the, the uh, electrical tape that I'm using. But anything to hold down that button on that sound um, speaker mechanism will be key to getting that to work again for you. On the other hand, if you do not, if, if, if you're sick of the sounds, which some people are, that is go in there and, and remove that sound component, um, either by, you know, taking it out or um, just fiddle around with it so that it doesn't, um, doesn't work anymore. So either way, that's how you get to the sound component speaker mechanism in the Lionel Ready to Play in sets. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to comment on this. I will do my best to get back to you with your with any answers that I um, know of or any recommendations that I have. Also, check out my order project, which is um, our YouTube page for additional videos of videos such as Strasburg Railroad. Um, we also create uh, and record original music as well as some unique covers of musicians like Taylor Swift, Bon Jovi, Ed Sheeran, Imagine Dragons. Um, and we also released a brand new album, recorded album of trains and so forth from areas like Strasburg Railroad in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And it has 30 tracks on it of whistle sounds engine sounds, um, steam, um, cars uh, going down the tracks, and so forth. And that is under the Epic Sounds artist, and the album is titled Railroad and Train Sounds. You can find that album on our Nightwater Project Facebook page here, or you can find it on Am Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, and many more digital streaming and download apps. So check that out if you're a huge uh, train fanatic 
Um, I think you will enjoy it. If you have kids, I think they will enjoy it as well. Um, it's a very unique album that is not music related that we normally do. So I hope you will check that out. Support us. Thank you for checking this video out again. Like I said, if you have any additional questions, um, just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer those for you. But overall, you know, for, you know, for about a hundred dollars, um, these sets are fantastic for kids and so forth. Um, can't, can't beat it um, compared to other companies that, uh, that provide things like this as well. You just can't beat this Lionel set. So for about, you know, this was the electrical tape was about three, four bucks. Um, scissors, um, your screwdriver and so forth. So for under $10, you can easily fix this train instead of going out and spending an additional $100 to buy a whole brand new set or look on eBay for just a locomotive that works for like $60 to $80. So again, my name is Derek with Nightwater Project, nightwaterproject.com. Check out our website more for some original music as well as some unique cover songs that I think you will enjoy. So thanks again for watching this video. Hopefully everyone has a fantastic rest to your week.